computer science videos here today to show you guys in this tutorial how to use Dropbox on a Mac computer the full user guide 2024 to 25 without further ado let us start the video so in this tutorial you need to have access to a Mac computer and we will be creating the account for Dropbox we can I start the tutorial before I start this tutorial, I would like to say that you are more than welcome to subscribe to my channel, Computer Science Videos. As we know, every problem is solved by indirection. You can also follow my Twitter account. We are trying to grow as fast as ever. I'm on TikTok. We post videos here and there. Follow my page on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram. You are more than welcome to support me on PayPal. Let's now focus on the video. So now let's go down to the dock. Go to the web browser, which is Safari. In this case, click on this way for that to load. Once it is loaded, now let's search for Dropbox. Click on Dropbox. Go to dropbox.com. And then what we will do is click on Get Started. We can either pay for personal use, professionals, for teams, for companies, either have it billed monthly or yearly, or as part of this tutorial, let's now select Get Basic. This will then have us sign up or log in. Let's now use our email address, which is rayhan at computersciencevideos.com. Click on continue. We recommend using your work email, that's fine. Let's now type in my name, last name, and create a password. That will be eight characters, one letter, one number, and one special character. So, Once we have added the first name, surname, password, I will then select, I'd like to receive direct marketing email updates from Dropbox and then agree and sign up. This will then create the account for Dropbox. Let's now save password. So once we have created the account for Dropbox, we then have three options. Either we can have the personal use account which is plus or for teams which is business or click on keep two gigabytes dropbox basic click on this and now we have the account this will be for let's just say personal use we can get the desktop application if we need to that's another video that i will be demonstrating to the user how to install the dropbox desktop application on the Mac computer let's now click on skip and here we go and there we have it we have now created the account for Dropbox we can now add files or folders click on next dive back in return to files anytime or access and take action on your content go to next again we're here for you, find out what's new on Dropbox, get help using the features or ask the community, that's fine. So let's now upload or drop to Dropbox, upload a file, go to documents, change the view to icons. I want to upload trial document.pdf, click on upload. As we can now see, the upload has been very successful. We have uploaded that PDF file to our Dropbox. We can also create a folder. Let's call this folder, folder one. And then we have some automation options to set this folder up to automatically handle tasks like organizing your content and converting files. You will set up your automation after we create this folder. For now, let's just click on create. I want to, let's just say move. 
our file to that folder, go to all files. Let's drag and drop this within that folder. So we have now moved that one PDF file into folder one. Double click on this and there we have it. Trial document, go back to all files. Create document, Dropbox paper doc, click on this. Before we are able to do anything, we would have to verify the email address. That's fine. Send email to rayhanacomputerscienceVideos.com. Click on send email. Let's now go to another tab. Office 365. Applications. Outlook. We now need to verify the email address. Trust the sender, click on verify your email. The email address has now been verified. As we can see on screen, your email has been verified. Click on done, click on create, document, Dropbox paper doc. This will create a brand new file. If I were to let's just say click on this now, we can open this up in a new tab. Make things happen with Dropbox paper, get started. And this is the Microsoft version of Dropbox for Microsoft Word. If I go to the bottom left corner of the screen, click on create paper doc. This will open up an untitled document that will allow us to now give the document a name. Computer science videos, now write something brilliant. Point one, point two. We can insert an image if we need to. Go to my YouTube channel, take the YouTube icon, insert that into your document. I can now click out of this, go back to Dropbox, right click, reload the page. And there we have the computer science videos document that was created within Dropbox. Click on open in new tab again. And there we have it. The saved work is now accessible again. Let's now click out of that. Let's now create a presentation, Microsoft PowerPoint. Microsoft Office Online would like to access a set of files and folders in your Dropbox. That's okay. Click on allow. This is an API request. And there we have it. We would then be allowed to create presentations via Microsoft Office within Dropbox. So we can now quit out of that. This is where all the photos are located. This is where the shared information will be. This is where we can create signatures, file requests, deleted files, but all that is for a brand new video in the future or brand new videos as part of the how to use Dropbox playlist within the Mac computer. And so today was just a quick user guide as to how to sign up, create folders, access, documents and create documents as well as PowerPoint presentations. In the future, we will be downloading the application for desktop, transferring files from the desktop to dropbox.com and all the other further Apple support that we require. So we can now sign out of the Dropbox account. We can also quit Safari 
I said that's over this video. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks for now. Thank you for making it towards the end of the video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Computer Science Videos. Be sure to check out the previous video on screen now, or you can ideally click on the playlist and watch all the journey for Computer Science Videos from the start until now.